Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoines.com. For mobile users it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coines app. Hey Coin Collectors! In this episode I'm going to talk about several extra rare US coins that command strong premiums at auctions, starting with this 1968 Roosevelt dime in PR68 condition. What makes this coin ultra-valuable is that the mint mark S standing for San Francisco branch of the mint is missing. Standard practice was to place the mint mark on the reverse of branch mint coins until 1964, with only a few exceptions. However, beginning in 1968, mint marks were moved to the obverse, usually near the date. In 1968 and a few again in various later years, the S mint mark was left off of proof dies. The key is that those were proof-only issues that were sold as part of complete proof sets. It was sold for $35,250 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1968's Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet. Graded in PR64 by PCGS. Weight of this coin is 6.3 grams. It is appreciably reflective in the fields, complementing sharp motifs. Each side is virtually brilliant. A few minor marks are seen beneath a loop. It was sold for $11,700 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1984 Lincoln Center with Double Die Obverse. The 1984 Double Die Obverse Lincoln Cent is considered a major variety in the Lincoln Cent series, as the Dublin can be easily seen with the naked eye. The variety was discovered in the same year in which the coins were struck. There are possibly several thousand examples in existence in all grades combined. The doubling is mostly evident on Abraham Lincoln's ear towards the south. Also, his beard and bow tie are strongly doubled towards the south. This one is in mint state 68 plus red and it ended up selling for $10,500 at great collection auctions. Here is 1961 Washington Quarter in mint state 67 plus. A gorgeously toned example of this late silver quarter, tied for finest certified by either service. While its technical quality is all there, it is the amazing double-sided toning that makes this coin truly special. He reverse toning is mostly in the orange-slash-red family, but it is no less vivid or vibrant. An intense cartwheel luster really brings every subtle difference in the color to life. Sold for $12,337.50 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. And this is Wartime Error Penny. 1943, Lincoln Center struck on a silver 10-cent blank. A very popular date and error type. During the wartime crush of coinage production, a few dime planchets found their way into the bins with the standard steel blanks for the 1943 cents. Their similar brilliant silver colors did not draw attention to them apparently and there are a small number of these known. This one appears to be one of the higher graded pieces. A soft pewter silver gray patina graces both sides, and there is a warm glowing satiny brilliance. The devices are weakly struck, as the dime planchet did not have enough metal to go all the way into the depths of the dies. There is nowhere anywhere to be found. It ended up selling for $3,760 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. If you have such rare coins feel free to showcase them on our website, thecoines.com. Don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next episode.